Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from March to April 2021 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Libra and pull your overarching energy for the next month or two. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Librans please? March to April 2021 in love romance relationships only please thank you angel spirits guides message for our lovely librans thank you <laughs> oh my goodness libra celebration joy getting your heart's desire a wish coming true that is your overarching energy <laughs> Very nice energy indeed. Your cups are about to be filled. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans. In love, romance, relationships from March 2021. So I'm going to pull three cards, Libra, then I'll clarify. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So we have the lovers in the challenge position. Advice from Spirit, Libra. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for our lovely Librans, thank you. In love, romance, relationships, March to April 2021, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Libra in love? Okay, message for Libra. Message for Libra, thank you. Okay, we have the Hermit. The Devil. The Wheel of Fortune, interesting energy with the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Cups, Libra, once, one moment. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please. Thank you. Oh, Libra. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. The Ten of Swords with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is your predominant energy. A wish is coming true. It's getting your heart's desire. I mean, that is really beautiful energy because some of this is a little bit testing, which the readings have been this this in the, the next month or two, to be honest. It's been a mixed bag this, the next, across all the signs. Um, so you've been healing in love, romance, relationships. There could have been a third party situation going on here, Libra, as well. You might have been wanting answers from somebody. You know, you might have been demanding answers from somebody. You're the half. In terms of love, romance, relationships, because there's definitely been some kind of disharmony. Something that has caused imbalance that I definitely feel that you've been healing from. You may have withdrawn yourself from the relationship. You may have, um, you know, spent some alone time. It could well be to find answers, to get illumination on how you want to move forward in the relationship, to get some kind of perspective. Because, you know, this can also be a choice card as well. Choices in love, romance, relationships. Some of you, it's not limited to third party. The, the, the cards on the table can represent third party situations. 
um, or a third thing, you know, something that could have affected your relationship um, or someone's actions within the relationship that has caused real disharmony. You know, the hermit appears when there is real healing that's needed, when there's real wisdom and uh, illumination that's needed on how you take action in your external environment. So for some of you, I mean, you know, this kind of energy, it could be something that you're going through. It could be something that you went through weeks ago, months ago, even years ago. You know, it's this kind of energy. Timing is fluid. People are at different life stages. But the message is that your issue has been healing from this situation. The Four of Wands represents the happy home energy and the devil is a card of instability. Something that has called, caused real instability, disharmony, imbalance in a relationship. Um, I mean, this can represent unhealthy relationships, power struggles, manipulation, codependency, addiction, or the difficulty in breaking free. You know, the difficulty in breaking free of somebody because they're so alluring. And yet with the devil energy, you know deep down that they're no good for you. I mean, that could be the choice that you're making here. So for some of you, it might well be this, um, this energy of you've been dealing with this. The advice from spirit, this is the 1111 card. Because Spirit is recognizing that this devil energy can represent attachment that's difficult to break free of. That is the restrictive energy that we feel, you know, we feel powerlessness because the attachment is so strong with the devil. And the 1111 card here is an energy of angel spirits, guides, people you've lost to the other side are watching over you, guiding you, sending you signs, symbols, messages. So the message with this is read the signs. Read the signs. If there is healing going on here, there is absolutely a message that you are finding some wisdom answer from within on how you need to deal with this situation. And angel spirits guides are sending you signs, symbols, messages, can be white feathers, birds in the garden, dreams, pieces of information or music that you hear that just remind you of somebody that you might have lost to the other side. They are just sending you messages to tell you that they're there. You know, so it might well be for some of you, you're getting some illumination that way as well. Because remember the hermit, the lamp is connection to source, God, the divine, the universe. So, yeah. Libra, the five of cups is somebody who looks at what's gone rather than looks at the present and the future. They are, in essence, kind of stuck in the past. There can be regret, something making you feel down. And the message here is there are two cups here. There are three cups spilt, but there are two cups full of uplifting energy behind this person. And it is time to allow yourself to make that journey from the past to the present. Because for some of you, such wonderful things want to come into your life. The gifts that the universe wants to bring in. The time is now. Things are opening up, expansion, growth, good luck. There may well be some kind of chance meeting with somebody new as well. Or some chance coincidence going on here, Libra, where you're actually meeting somebody new. Because this Wheel of Fortune is the transmutable ending, transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. As one door closes, another one is opening for you. So allow the pain, the hurt of the past to be released. Because the Ten of Swords can be an end to a situation that has caused a lot of emotional pain. But there is a new day, a new dawn rising. There is new light coming into your life, pushing away that darkness, the shadow. A turning point is happening here. And it is 
new happiness, and this is real happiness. The Nine of Cups is aligning to what makes you happy. I'm feeling this chance meeting, this chance coincidence, meeting somebody by chance, it's not really, it's divine orchestration. Um, that is allowing you to, you know, and their messages allow yourself to connect with moving forward, move on from the past. Because for some of you, there's a new offer of love coming your way. Uh, somebody new. It feels, it's a really beautiful energy, the Knight of Cups. He is all about wearing the heart on the sleeve. Um, male or female energy but definitely some kind of offer of love coming your way that's going to bring immense change, that is going to end the period of pain and herald your heart's desire. Somebody who is bringing your wish coming true. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy of, of reasons to be thankful, but it is a card of spirits, 12th house energy as well. So the house of spirit, the house of magic. So I definitely feel for some of you that there may well be some kind of, <laughs> I keep on getting this chance meeting, it really is staying with me, so I feel for some of you that will happen, some kind of chance meeting, chance coincidence, um, and it is connected to two nine of cups, your wish is coming true, which is the predominant energy, um, but it's a card of happiness, it's a card of gratitude, it's a card of feeling satisfied, content, really finding happiness, celebration, joy. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy, Libra. The message is, for some of you, to allow yourself to be open to receive a gift that the universe wants to bring you now. Because for some of you, there is something very beautiful with the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Let's pull a final card. Final card for Libra, please. Final card for Libra, please. Final card for Libra, please. Thank you. Leave Cutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support. You are not alone. I'm going to pull one more for you, Libra. Any other message for Libra in terms of love, romance, relationships, please. March to April 2020. What else do we have for Libra? Thank you. I'm just going to shuffle. Final message for Libra. Thank you. Final message for Libra. Yeah, <laughs> I did tell you there is something to do with timing in this reading. And look, you know, just kind of chance coincidence. We have um, Tiger, divine timing. Good things come to those that wait. Again, divine timing, divine timing. It is beautiful energy. So for some of you, you are absolutely being watched over. 1111. Read the signs. Because for some of you, it is time to align with what is going to make you happy, ultimately. And there is definitely some kind of happiness coming to your life here, Libra. It's very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all. And I will see you next time. Thank you.